body will naturally want to get rid of muscle. And the reason why it does that is because you probably don't feed yourself correctly. And if you don't feed yourself correctly, your body will eat the muscle. So muscle ache is something that happens not just when you work out. It happens when you're sick. Mike, 22, 5, 10, 2, 15, been doing week one of power bodybuilding for the last six months. This is a photo. No, no, it's a photo. <laughs> what is up, boys and girls? All right. We have a... We got a house full. I like it, though. I like it. Though. I got my, my sister's here, and my sister's very much a stage performer. We got stage performer Katie here. Um, she's... Uh, Probably not the best person to watch my child. What can be done instead of body massage? Stiff muscles are causing me tendon issues and resulting in weeks. So he is on point. Uh, we just, just got this. Um, it's relevant to his question. What can you do outside of massage? So I found a cooling cream um, that I rubbed on this last couple of weeks. Uh, and again, the only reason we're releasing it now is because I want, like you guys know, I want to do this for a while to make sure that it works and it does something and I feel a benefit from it. Um, also, we went over, is today part of that? So today, there are three things happened. Okay. Today. Full day eating. Uh -huh. And then recovery. Or I, um, I messed up. That's the title of the video. I messed up. Those two things happen. Yeah, I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. So let's get I messed up. Um, I messed up is going to be up tonight. Okay. Right now, in like five minutes, is Doctor. And after that, I'm going to do I messed up because then that'll lead them up tomorrow. Ah, because they do it over. Done. Full day of eating on Monday. Now, again, this is all relevant. To if you have hiccups in, in a sense of that you mess up your workout, you got sick, you got the COVID, um, stress, you got let go from work, um, your nutrition got messed up, your body plateaued, you got just sick, um, you just stopped training for a little bit, uh, you had too many high days in a row. All these kind of little things that I just spoke about will be relevant to tonight's YouTube video that's going live tonight. And we're saving it for tonight because uh, a lot has happened in the Michael Hurden life this last couple of weeks. Um, I would say it was the most uh, roller coaster ride these last two weeks. Would you say? Yeah, the last two weeks were the most roller coaster ride. There were some real high points. The launch of the products, our new products, huge. Um, some low points, went to see some doctors to make sure um, everything was working well. And so all these things um, happened this week. And then all the, the bumps and climbs in between those things. And the reason why I want you guys to make sure that you, I know this seems like he's just asking about muscle recovery and, and, and how do you, instead of a massage, it's bigger than that. <clears throat> it's bigger than that because of the fact that you're only speaking about when you train, can you do something else out of uh, recovery? Well, what about the days you're achy from not training? What about the days that you're achy because you're stressed out and those traps are just killing you because you were working so hard? You've fought with your significant other and you're stressed out and your muscles are aching. So muscle ache is something that happens not just when you work out. It happens when you're sick. You get muscle aches. Um, when, you, when you stress the body part, as you get older, you get muscle strains and, and, and stressed muscle. So there's so much more into this. And so I, not just for this young youngster here who looks very young uh, and just wants to recover from a workout. Yes, it does that. But there's so much more to it. And we, So I got this uh, <clears throat> cream. And I tried it for the last, now I guess today is the... 14th, so 15 days I've been doing this, um, and I wanted to make sure it was good, and it works great, and I liked it. So, and all I do is after the workout, I put it on shoulders, elbows, um, lower back, uh, upper neck, 
um, and knees, and the back of the knees. And it just feels great. And it's, and it's like that kind of massage. The reason why I put it at those part, those places relative to the muscle is because maybe for you, you, you don't like that muscle soreness. I love the muscle soreness. I don't like the feeling of the connective tissue areas, the joints feeling any kind of issues. Um, that for me is more important than the muscle uh, soreness itself. Uh, so if it's doing that much for the knees and the elbows and stuff, I can't even, you know, I haven't tried it. And, I, and maybe I'll, I'll try more and put it on the muscle and see what it does for the muscle. But I, I like the soreness of the muscle. But that's something that's interesting. I just comprehended. He's only focused about that, but he's youngster still. So for you youngsters, yeah, uh, try it on there. Um, and the great thing is I reached out to the company, which is actually really fun to be able to do that, and reach out to the company and say, hey, can I get a discount for my Titans? And so they gave us a discount. So that's that's cool. So if you guys want to try that, feel free to try that. Um, Check-ins. So... Um, all the check-ins will be getting uh, done today. Everybody should have checked in yesterday and got your material over. And I'll be working on that here in the next hour um, to get back to everybody that's working with me one-on-one. -on -one. So what we're going to do is this here is going to be your guys' check-in post. And to let you guys know, everybody in the Titan crew, answer the questions correctly. There's a lot of questions, but... The reason you want to answer those questions correctly is the more information I have about you and what you're doing, the better I can help you. Um, and that's why the pictures are important to put up there so I can see actual pictures of what you look like and how you've changed. Here's one of the big things when it comes to pictures. I want you guys to understand. You're looking at yourself one way. I'm looking at the fullness and recoveriness. Recoveriness. I just made up a word. Um, of the muscle. And how you look. So I can look at somebody and go, from last time to this time, you look depleted. But not just depleted on like burning fat. I mean like depleted like you are, you are deteriorating away, which I don't want you to do. Relative to the person that's just dropping body fat and getting in shape. Um, so this is one aspect of me looking at photos on what happens. And then also on top of that, here's one of the biggest things is when you guys post photos, and you say, hey, I need to drop this body fat. And I look at you and I see this guy that's maybe 140 pounds. So right then and there, I go, well, listen, it's, it's not so much that you need to lose body fat. is we need to develop some muscle on your body. Um, and so your body's kind of like, your body will naturally want to get rid of muscle. And the reason why it does that is because you probably don't feed yourself correctly. And if you don't feed yourself correctly, your body will eat the muscle. So with that being said, a lot of you guys that want to get leaner, it's not that you want to get leaner. It's There's got to be some kind of muscle development on your body and that you're so thin, you're kind of a skinny fat. Um, and so you think that you need to diet when actually you just need to work out and eat correctly. So these are just some of the aspects of what I see in photos relative to probably what you see. But uh, so I, I dictate to him. Yeah. I don't know if I can say that either. Well, I can't use the word dictate. I can't or, say that. Him. or him. Um, so I do to him. And then, so a lot of the times, is, is, which is kind of cool because he's kind of like an apprentice, but gets paid. A lot of the time, um, before I see who we're working on, he'll go, okay, <laughs> he's got a lift. And then I'll start uh, reading the questions to me and stuff. And, and the guy's like, I got to get, get rid of this body fat. And then I see that he's 100. We just had somebody that was like 136 pounds. At five foot eight, so that's that's a very thin human, male especially, um, who said that he's fat and he wants to lose weight. And I'm like, no, you. I mean, that's ridiculous. You have no weight. Yeah. Uh, so I don't mean to be offensive to that, but it's it's the point of understanding that I don't care if you want to be a bodybuilder. I want you to be healthy. And at five seven five eight at 120 pounds is not healthy so for all of you that are out there i'm working with a guy right now that i absolutely love his name is scott scott's out of green bay um and the reason i like scott is is uh first of all uh very bright educated man but he understands the process and the patience behind the process 
So our game plan, which Jeffrey just kind of pointed out to me too, is something that we talked about that you'll see tonight's video, is that you have a game plan, right? Everybody does. We're going to do the nine-week power bodybuilding here and soon, and that's my game plan. I got a start date. I got an end date. Perfect. Does that hold true? Not really. Not really. Because unless my body is ready to start that process, unless my calories are at the right point to start that process, and on top of it, if my body's recovered enough from this hardcore dieting to start that process, I can't start that process. And the reason why I say that is because of the fact that me and Scott, we're going to start slicing up here March 1st. So a couple weeks back, we're going to start slicing 30-day blitz. And I was looking at his photos and stuff, and I said, now we can, we can still get some more calories in you. We can get a little bit more muscle mass in you. We can still do a little bit the other way before we start this process. And it wasn't an argument. It wasn't an argument. And that's why I, I, we really choose the people I work on one-on-one. -on -one is because it's the guys and girls that get it. They understand it. They go, okay, if you think that right now, with this opportunity that we have, we can still develop muscle, which is hard to put on, then let's stay with that path instead of doing the slice and dice and appease my visual of what my body will look like relative to doing what's going to be beneficial for the well, long run. That. So that's just a huge point. And, and it's one of the things that when... One of the things that Mona and Jeffrey and the team, uh, led by Serge, always govern the one-on-ones. Um, and so, so you don't, and I'll just say this for a second, you don't get to me right away with the one-on-ones. So you have to go through a process of getting signed up. Um, and even if you pay, you don't get on the one-on-ones. Most of the time we do just re reimburse the person and say, no, thank you. We don't want to work with you. And the reason why that is, is because of the fact that working with me one-on-one -on -one is not me setting up a program that suits you. It is me setting up a program that suits what's best for your body and for your life. So if you can't comprehend that and don't fully understand what I'm saying, then perfect. Don't worry about it. Stay in the Titan crew. Keep doing your doing. Do the programs. You're going to get a, a great shape. You're going to get better like you want to get. Um, we're just not going to work one on one in that aspect. But with that being said, Scott, love you, man. You are you are fun to work with, and I love the fact that right now you are willing to continue to um, benefit the body by feeding it, raising the calories, and getting better. Okay, I will. That's that's actually <laughs> brilliant, man. If you could get Kelly to do the thirty day blitz, and you're right, you are. Absolutely right. I could not get Kelly to do the 30-day blitz. Could you imagine if Kelly did the blitz two times? That's right. Well, he's got so he's Kelly's 360 and at 295, he would look like a freak. He would be yeah, absolute freak. Um and he'd probably be stronger and more mobile. Um obviously. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, if you can get Kelly to do that, man, props, props. He get stronger because he probably work out a little bit more. He'd probably be eating more. The he'd other things, more. he'd get less pain yeah. in, in those places that hurt him, so he doesn't train those as hard. He, he would benefit so much. Yeah. The inflammation would go down that he has. The Yeah, he would be. Christian, get on that. Get on it. Get on it, my man. Mike, 22, 5, 10, 2, 15. Been doing week one of power bodybuilding for the last six months. Or so during the quarantine, putting on size and strength, is at 225 for two to three months. But I now changed the diet to come down to 215. Purchase the dry up to see where the body's at before the blitz. Should I just change immediately to the eight meals a day from the six? I've been doing week one of power bodybuilding. I think he meant I'm on week one. I've been doing power bodying for the last six months. But I've repeated the first week over and over and over. That's what I see. Is that what you think? That's what I see. I've been doing week one of power bodybuilding for the last six months. Oh, I see. He probably got week one and just stayed with that. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so he's been doing some great lifts, some some hardcore volume training. <sighs> so I would reverse. I know you got the dry out, but the dry out should, uh, especially you've been training, right? You've been training, you've been doing it, you've been going in there. So what I would do is I would jump on to the blitz first and then do the dry out. Um, yeah, that's what I would do. Wow, look at that. Yeah, right? Hmm. Why are you looking so weird? Get on the bicep. I need a spray tan. You do need a spray tan. Hi, guys.